bad are they going to judge me? It's your girl Jocelyn back with another video. It is freezing today. All right, let me just start by saying that it's cold. It's been so cold, a cold, rainy day. So I'm about to make me some hot chocolate and um, then I'll talk to y'all. Mm -mm. Much better. <laughs> I've been like literally drinking hot chocolate like for the past three days because it's been like cold out of nowhere and then it makes me think like geez like is this for real like is the cold starting you know because you know when like the cold started like a couple weeks ago then it got like warmer again like for a few days and it was tolerable it was fine and then it kind of creeped back up the coldness so now it's like is it really here to stay like, so anyways cutting to the point cutting to the chase of this video um, if you have not checked out my previous video, go ahead and check it out because what I'm going to talk about is just going to make more sense. So it will be the link will be in the description box below. But after I posted that video, I'm going to call them uh, my old school friends or whatever. They hit me up. They hit me up to, you know, check on me, make sure I was OK, but also to be like, what are you doing about this? Like, like, what's your intake in this? Like, how are you handling it? So basically what I explain to them is what i wanted to talk to you guys what i wanted to talk about today all right what i wanted to talk about today with you guys um so what i told them was there's nothing for me to handle you know because we used to be wild um we used to pop off some things are funny to look back on and it's like oh my god i can't believe i did this i can't i can't believe i handled it this way but then some things are like oh no joyce lynn Ugh. you know that 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 was an ugly way to handle a situation. What I was telling them is, first off, we're all grown. I don't know about everybody else, but I have children and um, they're a big, big, big importance in my life. And so there's nothing that I would, you know, do to, to risk um, my children's mental health or just any interruption into our lives. You know, so yeah, I'm just, I'm not about that life. I don't handle anything unless you're fit. You know, if you're not in my face, there's nothing for me to handle and get upset about. It's just not worth it. It makes no sense. So, you know, what I was telling them is like, no, like I'm not doing anything. But the biggest thing that I was trying to explain to them and, you know, hopefully if they're watching this, I love you guys. Um, but hopefully they w walked away from the conversation understanding and learned something new, which is I have learned throughout the years of a lot of pain in different circumstances, or even, even when I did pain, even when I was the one who caused the pain years ago, you know, I did some pretty rowdy things to people who loved me, you know, a couple people who really, really were down for me and loved me. And I, I had anger issues, you know, um, but I, I wasn't addressing them the way I've addressed them now as an adult. And you, of course, you know, all of y'all already know, it just stems from like trauma and things of my childhood. So at an early age, I wasn't able to really acknowledge them and address them. So they were coming out in my actions. So I, I, I heard a lot of people in my past that like really did love me. Well, again, a couple people. They know who they are and I haven't seen them in years, but I really wish them well and I always have them in my heart. So yeah, so I've learned from those lessons. So what I was trying to explain to them was because of those lessons and also from what the pain that has been done to me throughout the years, I have seen how if God is going to correct someone, God is going to correct someone. <laughs> like if God is, is going to correct me, if God is going to correct you, if God is going to correct just anyone who has ever harmed you or caused pain to you or has plotted against you or has just done anything like just conniving and just whatever, he is going to correct them. But, but we are not the judge of that. Like, you know, 
we are not the ones who cause the consequences to happen to those who are malicious you know and plot against our lives and you know are just evil or disgusting or wicked whatever you know like it is not our place it is not our job i firmly believe that you know and like they were like what you're bugging <laughs> you've lost your mind like who are you it was pretty funny but it's just life life has really taught me that that there's nothing for me to do there's nothing for me to to handle to, in in my eyes it's all in god's hands and it's a part of god's plan because all things work together for good for those who love the lord you know and i love god i love him with all my heart and and i just try to be a better person a better person in his eyes not about a person to y'all, not about a person even to me, because what I think is good sometimes is not, you know? So I, I just want to be someone, you know, that pleases him. Ultimately, I get emotional talking about it, but yeah, I got emotional with them too, talking about it. <laughs> they must be like, you baby, you're a baby now. Um... I, I may be a baby now, <laughs> you know, um, I, ew, it's crazy when you really like acknowledge and look back and be like, damn, like I really changed. I have changed. Like this is, this was not my perspective years ago, like years ago. Oh Lord Jesus. We're not even going to talk about the ifs and the maybes and the oh, whatnots like, no, but anyway, so so that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, where it's like, if you feel hurt, if you feel pain, if someone has done something to cause you harm, pain in any way, shape or form, maybe spiritually, mentally, physically, um, what, well, lies, not physically, physically, you handle it, okay? <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, because God's like, no, Joycelyn, physically, you don't handle it. But right now, that's where I'm at, you know, that would be the only way I would handle it. <laughs> Um, everything else that it's just not in my, it's not in my face. It's not in my way. It's out of my hands. I'm leaving it up to God. But again, I'm getting, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. And, um, I just want you guys to work on that. And I hope that y'all ain't wasting your time with anything that you don't have any control of, especially being a judge of the consequences that others have to like suffer in your opinion, in your mind. Yes, you're hurt. Yes, they've caused pain. Yes, what they did was violent, malicious, whatever, right? It was wrong, period, point blank. But ultimately, it is not your job. Within time, as I did, right? And as I'm sure a lot of people have learned, within time, they will see where they were wrong and whether that is in a way that God will have to enlighten them willingly or unwillingly, it will occur. So there's nothing for y'all to stress about. There's nothing for you to worry about. And there's definitely nothing for me to worry about. You know, um, what's right is right. And what's wrong is wrong. So I will stay in my place. I don't want to take God's place. His place is he is the judge. He is the one who decides. He's the one. Like he, it is him. It is him. Um, and yeah, all things work together for good because something that may look so ugly and may look horrible and horrendous today may look like, why is this happening to me? Tomorrow may be like, wow, I really needed this to stabilize me in some way, shape, or form, or I really need, needed this for character growth, whatever, you know? Um, so yeah, I know. I know. I just see I'm saying this because I like hear their voices like they were like you are so corny but you're so cute now yes I know I know it's so cute now <laughs> um but um yeah but thank you so much for watching I have to go tend to my children um I need to cook and I'm still not sure about what I will be cooking but anyways Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Like, don't watch my videos and then not subscribe. Like, come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Subscribe. All right. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.